Hello guys, how's it going? Oh my god, it was a bit cold this morning, like about nine and a half degrees. Okay, so it's not as cold as some places that get down to the negatives or like one, but still pretty cold. Um, especially compared to, I think it was yesterday, it was like 12, 13 degrees, so that's Celsius, guys. Celsius, not Fahrenheit. So, um, on real friends, I've talked about this a few times about real friends calling you on your shit and all that sort of other stuff. Um, real friends also will listen to you know things that have happened and, and, and a negative in your life, they'll listen and let you process and you know let you take your time with things and and be there to you know say look you're dwelling on this too much you know get over it come pick yourself up uh, but they will also be there when you are picking yourself up and encourage you to get on with life they won't they won't really help you um, dwell on the past and continue on some of these silly vendettas that I see around the place um, I'm like well seriously I mean <laughs> Old people say, oh, I'm over that, I'm over this. I'm going, okay, well, if you're over it, maybe you wouldn't be saying that you're over it, like, years and years down the track. Um, you just say, okay, well, that's nice. Um, and just, I don't know, be an adult about it. But, yeah, adulting doesn't really happen a lot these days. It's a shame, because I find I have the most fun with adults. Because adulting, <laughs> I don't get mixed up in uh or well, try not to get mixed up in the pettiness of life and some people they go around and try and bad mouth a lot of other people and do things behind their backs and i'm just like seriously guys seriously you know shit happens um you made assumptions or made a mistake or whatever own up to it get on with life stop dragging people in Stop playing the victim. Get on with it. I mean, seriously. But real friends, they will help you when you're picking yourself up. They won't be the ones that you know will will dig at you or try and get you to keep going back to that same old cycle, same old, same old that has you not moving on in life. I've seen that a lot um, and I do see it continually and it's like you, you say you're, you're trying to help them I don't think so I mean all you're doing is prolonging someone else's suffering and and trust me it is whether they know it or not and quite often they don't know it they think oh this, this person's helping me do this and get on with my life it's like no they're not what they're doing is they're tying you down and you know, making out that they're like your best friend, but they're not. They're really your, I don't know, your frenemy. Because they're, what they're doing to you is not helpful at all. It's actually stopping you from getting on with your life. And a real friend will risk that. They won't like chuck tamper tantrums, don't go sulking in a corner saying, oh, but I'm just trying to help. They'll just go, look, that's the way I see it. You're dwelling on the past, move on. You know, be an adult, pull up your big boy, girl, whatever, panties, and get on with business. So, real friends, you have a lot of them in your life. Some come and go, but they don't have to stay around forever. But real friends, what are they to you? You know, what for you are the sign of a good friend and a real friend? For me, it's, yeah, calling you on your crap making you realize that you know you're dwelling on the past but also being a real friend is also calling people on their crap and also knowing when not to poke people and not to bring up stuff and let them handle it i mean they're your friends um you know partners who are also friends you got to trust them to take care of it um so yeah what what are the characteristics that you have in mind for real friends and you get really specific if you want some people say general trust, honesty, and all that sort of stuff, but you know, different situations. Um, real friends, I think, also is you don't feel the need to pretend to be somebody else, even even if you're afraid 
but your your friends will won't like you you be yourself and your little friends will go okay I didn't know that about you okay I'm a little weirded out but you know what give me some time and and or be curious about it so yeah and what other friends you know how can you be a real friend to somebody else how can you be more open and accepting and knowledgeable and not knowledgeable but you know curious about people's lives and what they think and feel so oh well that's a Tuesday crisp crisp morning a lot of things going on as usual maintenance going on in South Bank you know if you ever get a chance to in the morning or late at night or you wander around and you're seeing people in the street doing like your maintenance and all that you know just wave and say good day mate have happy have a good day um, anywhere you are in the world because a lot of the times they're those people that they get taken for granted and you never know you could make someone's day just to acknowledge them and say hey look mate thanks for doing such a good job I know it's kind of thankless and you help you early in the morning but you know thanks even making eye contact and giving them a nod that something that small gesture like takes less than a second out of your life could make all the difference and you never know you might make yourself a new friend anyways I'll see you guys later bye